The Physics of Santa Music, Doc here with Electrical Costs. Let's blow dry our hair. We have four steps here. Step one is to know your watts, your wattage, your power. Your power can be calculated from the formula P is IV, and in this case, you're given the current, 15 amps, and the wall outlet we're plugged into, 120 volts. So we need to multiply these two to get our power. Normally, the numbers are not this tricky. However, we want to respect the con air blow dryer values, so we're going to use them. And remember, in our course, we have this deal where if we look at mathematics at a deep level with numbers and not use a calculator for a quantitative course here, I'll give you a multiple choice test. So it's a good deal. So let's look at 15 times 120. You can multiply it out the long way, but let me show you some tricks here with mathematics. 15 is 5 times 3 and 12 is 3 times 4 and 12 times 10 is 120. So I write this out with these numbers which I can multiply in any order. So I multiply 5 times 4 because I like to get that 0 on the end of that too. So 5 times 4 is 20. So I like that. 3 times 3 is 9. And then I can look at 20 as 2 times 10 and that 10 can hit this other 10 to give me 100 and then I have 2 times 9 and that gives me 18 with the two zeros on the end, 1800. You may say, well, I wouldn't have thought about the 3 and the 4. Well, you don't have to because these things usually have more than one way to arrive at the answer. So here you have 15 times 120 and here we have 2 times 6 instead of 3 times 4. So you thought of 2 times 6. So you have 2 times 6. That works too. If you have 5 times 2, that's 10. That's really friendly. So I want to hit that 5 and that 2 together, get that 10. Then 3 times 6, whatever's left is 18. And then the 100, 1800. That's actually easier than the other one. Well, next step is how long you have the blow dryer on for. It's 20 minutes, one third of an hour. You see, the power company wants to hit you with three things. How much current are you drawing? 15 amps how much voltage are you using and how long. We already have these two multiply and we're about to multiply the third one, the time, for the step three. Kilowatt hour. So we have 1800 watts figured out from step one. We have one-third of an hour figured out from step two. We multiply them together. One-third times 1800, 600. 600 watt hours. And step four is money. Step four, you have dime for a thousand watt hours. Kilo means a thousand. So I have 600, I have six tenths, so the answer is six cents. Let's look at some strategies in doing these problems in general. The first strategy here is to note that this 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which is given to you on the exam, tells you what to do. You say, how is that? tells me what to do. Well, think of a question involving driving a car. Suppose you go 300 miles in five hours and you want the miles per hour. If someone asks you for the miles per hour, that's telling you what to do. In other words, you have 300 miles per five hours. Per means divide. So that would be 60 miles per hour. That's your average speed. Now, when you see watt hours together like that, you don't see any per, uh, any, any division. You have multiplication. So it's telling you what to do. It says watt hours. You multiply the watts times the hours. Well, my watts, 60. My hours, 10. 60 times 10, 600. See, the units go with it. Watt times hours. Just like here, miles per hour, if you divide, per means divide, you have a slash. Here, watt hours, just multiply. And then once when I do that, it says here, I have to pay one dime for a thousand of those. Kilo means a thousand. One dime for a thousand watt hours. Well, that means one penny for each hundred watt hours. But I have 600. So I have six times that. The answer is six cents. Nothing to memorize. We use the formula here that's actually given in the statement of the problem. Ten cents per kilowatt hour. It's telling you, that's giving you the formula, it tells you what to do. Well, suppose I have a more advanced question where I have to do two things in one step like with the Conair blow dryer that we did earlier. In other words, you're given watts, um, well you're not given watts actually, you have to figure it out. So let's do that. Here's another uh, question similar to the blow dryer question. What is the cost 
if you use an appliance that draws 10 amps of current at 120 volts for three hours. So now I had to work to get the watts so to figure it out. The power is I times V. I have the 10 amps times 120 volts. I get 1200 watts and then I bring in the time because now I know that this is telling me what to do. Everything is now the same as the previous analysis. Uh, kilowatt hours. I need to take my watts and my hours and multiply them. 3600 watt hours and then it's one cents for each hundred watt hour. That's t told to me by this 10 cents per kilowatt hour and then I see I have 3600 so the answer is 36 cents. What about a more difficult problem? Here's, an, here's another trick, uh, one with more tricky uh, a feature but watch how easy if you think of it in steps. In a restaurant what is the cost if you use a toaster with a 10 ohm resistor plugged into 120 volt outlet for a period of 10 hours? Whoa! So I want to find my power because I, I'm seeing I don't have wattage so I must use this formula P is IV but then I don't find all the things I need. I find my volts 120 but I don't find my current. So I have to go to Ohm's law, V is IR, and then use the 10 ohms for the R, and then I is unknown. I have 120 is I times 10, so the 10 ohms for the R, the 120 volts for the volts, V, and the I is unknown, and what number times 10 is 120, or I can simply say I is 120 divided by 10, zero is cancel, I get 12 amps. Then once I have the 12 amps, I'm all set. Now I have my volts and now I have my amps and I have reduced this to the previous kind of a problem that we have covered. So we know how to do that. We take IV, 12 amps for the current, 120 volts, and 12 times 12 is 144, zero goes for the ride, and I have 1440. And next step is how long is it on for? It said 10 hours, so that would be 14,400. Remember, 10 cents per kilowatt hour means 1 cents for each 100 watt hours. Here I have 144 times the 100, so there's 144 pennies, which is a dollar and 44 cents. Another complication, the time is given in minutes. So this is the hardest kind of problem you can get. So in, in this little review, these four things that we're looking at, we're preparing you for any kind of a question you might have to convert to hours, like we do with the blow dryer. Well, let's look at some of these. Five minutes, you compare with 60 minutes is an hour. So five over 60 is one over 12, one twelfth. Six minutes out of 60 is a tenth, a tenth of an hour. 10 minutes out of an hour, which is 60 minutes, is like 10 over 60 is like one sixth of an hour. 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. 20 minutes is a third of an hour, and 30 minutes is a half an hour. So, you have all the tricks now and you've seen all possible questions. Good luck.